Hi and welcome to show us classes. Today we are going to be dealing with the statistics portion of this paper. You can contact us at the number given on the screen for doubts, queries or for full videos on our other courses. Now let us see what the first question asks of us. For a given set of distinct numbers, which of the following is true? AM is greater than GM, HM or the other portions. Let's see how to figure this out. Now let there be two numbers AB where A and B is greater than 0. Therefore, arithmetic mean is equals to the average A plus B by 2. Geometric mean is A, A into B root over 2AB by A plus B is equals to the HM. Therefore, AM into HM equals to A plus B by 2 into 2AB by A plus B and thus this comes to AB which is equals to root over AB which is equals to GM square and that means both HM and AM are in ge geometric progression hence AM, GM, HM follows the rules of GP series. Therefore, GM equals to root AM into HM. Thus, now we calculate the difference between arithmetic mean and geometric mean. And it comes to root over A square plus root B minus 2 root A into root B by 2, which is greater than 0 thus AM is greater than GM similarly doing the same process the difference between geometric mean and harmonic mean which is also greater than 0 thus meaning GM and HM let the first one be number 1 and the first, second one be equation 2 thus combining 1 and 2 we get AM greater than GM greater than HM thus Option number A is the correct answer. It is generally known that AM is greater than equals to GM is greater than equals to HM which is option number B. But I will tell you why this option is not correct. The three means are equal only when the numbers are equal but they are said to be distinct. Hence we cannot take option number B as the correct answer and thus option A is the truth for the given set of distinct numbers. Now the next question is one of the most favorite questions for students. What is the mode of the following distribution? This will be a fast answer as the highest number of frequency is 21, it corresponds with number 77. The 77 corresponds to the highest frequency of 21, giving us option number B as the correct and only option. Moving on to the next question. We have a binomial distribution with a probability of success 1 by 5, where the number of trials is unspecified. Now we calculate, we need to calculate the variance of the distribution. Therefore P equals to 1 by 5 as given in the question. Therefore Q equals to 4 by 5. Now we know that variance of a binomial distribution is equals to NPQ which is equals to 4N by 25. Since N is not known, we can say that 4n by 25 equal not equals to now we check this equation with the given options we see option number c 6 by 25 for no values of n can 4n by 25 be 6 by 25 thus c is the correct option a B and D are possible for different values of N. 
Now, in the next question, we have the regression equation of the volume in liters y of a bellute or the temperature in centigrade x is given by y equals to alpha plus beta x. We need to find out what is the slope parameter of the regression equation if the temperature is measured by in parameter Fahrenheit. Let me tell you a little tip to change from degree centigrade to degree Fahrenheit, the multiplying factor is 9 by 5. Also note that beta equals to rho Sy by Sx. Thus, the transformation does not change rho or Sy, but only changes Sx by the multiplying factor of 9 by 5. Hence, the answer will be 5 by 9 beta, which is option number A. Moving on to the next question. What is the median number of goals scored in the match summarized in the table below? Observe the table. Now, we see N, which is equal to total number of matches, equals to 30 which is even now we know that median is nothing but n by 2th observation plus n by 2 plus 1th observation whole divided by 2 which in this case will be the 15th and the 16th observation which is which equals 3 plus 3 whole divided by 2 equals to 3. I did the sum over here so that you can correlate with the answers given along. That is option number C is the correct answer. Now we have a question on probability. The probability that exactly one of the events A or B occurs is equals to among the followings. Let's take out how to do this? Therefore, the required probability is equals to probability A intersection of B complement plus P A complement intersection of B equals to P A minus P A intersection of B plus P B minus P A intersection of B and this is equals to probability of A plus probability of B minus 2 probability of A intersection B as A intersection B complement A intersection B and A complement intersection B are mutually exclusive events. Thus, option number B is the correct answer. Let's do one more question. From all nine digit numbers, one is selected at random. The probability that the selected number has distinct digits is among the following. The nine distinct and ordered digits can be chosen from 10, that is 0 to 9. Numbers in 10 P9 which is equals to 10 factorial ways out of which 0 will appear in the first place in 9 ok let me do it in a fresh page so that you see each and every calculation each and every step that I am doing as you need to understand these concepts very well This is equals to 9 factorial ways. Thus, the number of numbers with distinct digits equals to 
this print digit 10 factorial minus 9 factorial which is equals to 9 into 9 factorial thus the total of number of 9 digit numbers is okay I'm fast forwarding it a bit so that you see the rest of the calculation in the jiffy the total number of 9 digit numbers is 9 into 10 to the power 8 now the probability of selecting number with distinct digits are 9 into 9 factorial that we obtained earlier divided by 9 into 10 to power 8 which is nothing but 9 factorial by 10 to power 8 with this we come to an end of another great video we will be solving the other sums for you so that you can score very well you can call us at the number given on the screen for any doubt queries or for more such videos please like subscribe and click on the notification button to receive our videos when they are uploaded